All right, man. So how was it on your first time on the bike? It was really. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was really. Ch yeah. Yeah. It was, it was really. It was really fun. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we have the Ciro Adjustable Passenger Comfort Peg Mounts. <laughs> so many words, right? It's a million words, but they're very simple to install. I'm sure you guys have seen them before in different videos. These are black, they do come in chrome. And then we also have the Ciro CMX pegs with mounts. These are black, they also come in chrome. Uh, we've been looking forward to this. I've been looking forward to this because I love taking him riding any chance I get. And to legally take him on the highway or different streets, he has to have a full face helmet, DOT approved, and he has to be able to reach the floorboards or in this case, he's gonna be able to reach the passenger comfort peg mounts. And we also have bike week coming up at Daytona, and this will be his first time. So I'm really looking forward to uh, taking him down that strip and him seeing all the bikes and being able to ride in the back. We're looking forward to putting these on, right? Simple install, so let's get it unboxed. Well, you'll do the unboxing and then uh, we'll get him installed on the bike. You ready? Let's go. All right guys, so in the box for the adjustable passenger comfort peg mounts, you have your two mounts, two extension arms, two clevises, and then you have all your mounting hardware. Once we go to put it on the bike, we'll get in more detail as far as what screw goes where because you do have different sizes. You have your lock washers, two D springs, and then you have your tab springs that are already installed on the clevis. Now as far as the foot pegs, everything comes assembled. You don't have to worry about doing any of that. Once you get it on the mount, you have your different uh, adjustability with your foot peg. Pretty simple install, guys. You ready to get it on the bike? Yeah. Let's go. Now, I do have the Thrash and Supply Passenger Floorboards. If you want to know more about these, I'll put a link down in the description below. Now, you don't have to remove the passenger floorboards. You just have to remove the top screw and then loosen up the bottom screw. The top screw is a 5 16 hex bit and the bottom screw is a quarter inch hex bit. So here's your different mounting options for the passenger floorboards. We obviously want that one top spot open so we can put our peg mounts on there from zero. So I'm gonna put it down on the second spot and see how that works. And if anything, we can always adjust it later. So before I install anything, I'm gonna go ahead and thread chase these holes and clean all this out. Now I have this all cleaned out. I'm gonna remount the passenger floorboard now I'm gonna put mine on the second position. Now you can put yours on the third position. It all depends on your rider's height, but I want this as high as possible. And I'm reusing the same screw. So I went ahead and put blue Loctite on that bottom screw and I'm snugging it down just enough where I can still adjust it. So now I'll reinstall the top screw. I'll use some blue Loctite. Just make sure you have your lock washer. Now the torque spec on the upper screw is 36 to 42 foot-pounds, but I'm just gonna get it down nice and snug. 
So now I'll pre-assemble the extension arm and mount. You want to go spline to spline. You have these smaller teeth, then you have this larger tooth that'll sit in this larger gap, and that'll come into play when you make your adjustments. And then you have your coarse thread screw. This is a longer screw out of the set. And then you have the lock washer that'll go in here. And then I'll also add some blue Loctite. And then you have this U-shaped part on the mount. This will sit on the top screw of the foot bracket. So for this screw, it's a 516 hex bit and I'll just get it finger tight for now. So here you have your adjustability options. I'm gonna go about right here and then we can always adjust later. So now we're gonna mount the clevis. Here I have the screw. This is the smaller of the set with a lock washer. I'll also add some blue Loctite to this one. Now you want this screw facing up and this is gonna come from behind. Here, and you want spline to spline and then you screw it in from the back. Now depending on what side covers you have, I have the stretch side cover from Hogwarts, so I might have to move this forward in order to tighten this down and then move it back up. So you want this here, and then from here you have your different adjustability options. Now the same thing with this screw, it's a 516 hex bit. So we have everything mounted on except for the foot peg. Now depending whether or not this is gonna interfere with me taking this side cover off, I might only have this on when he's riding with me. So here we have the Ciro CMX foot peg. This already comes pre-assembled in the package. I just took it apart so you can see what it looks like. So when you assemble it, obviously you want teeth to teeth or spline to spline. This allows for some adjustability. And then you have your screw that goes on the back. So it's a quarter inch hex bit, but because of the angle, you'll have to use an extended quarter inch hex bit. Now the tab spring already came installed, but I always like to check these to make sure they're tightened all the way down. And just to make sure this tab spring is tightened down, I'm using a two and a half millimeter hex bit. Now here we have the D spring. Now when you go to install this, you want this flat edge inboard. And then when you look at it, it's curved. You want this curved side facing towards the foot peg. Now I'll install the foot peg. You want the teeth facing up. You'll line up the holes. You'll take the last screw in the set. With lock washer, you'll put that on. Now you can add blue Loctite if you want to. And this screw is a 516 hex bit. Now you don't want to over tighten the screw. You still want to be able to flip up your foot peg when it's not in use. So why do we thread chase these holes? So the Loctite has something to stick to. So the Loctite has something to stick to? Yep. All right.
second, and I stop myself.